Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tanya with Yanza Creations and today we are going to be having a bit of fun. We are going to be screen printing on some Temu tote bags. So I picked up these tote bags from Temu. They are a lot thinner than the ones I usually purchase on Amazon. The ones I get on Amazon, I find them to be really, really good quality. So the jute uh, section here, um, it's pretty much, um, it's similar, but it's a lot thinner. And the front panel is a lot thinner. So I am going to um, go ahead and try to screen print on them. Okay, they're a lot thinner, but I think it's workable. So how I'm going to go ahead and screen print, I'm going to go ahead and use um, one of my pressing pillows. And I'm just going to put that in the bag right in this section where we have um, the fold, where we have this uh, fold inside the bag. I'm just going to stick it in there so that I have an even surface. So there are lots of ways to screen print. You could do it the traditional way where you would expose your silk screen to UV light or you could screen print with your Cricut, all right? So you could use some um, permanent vinyl, cut that, cut your design with your, um, with your Cricut and then lay that on the surface of your silk screen and go ahead and screen print. So you grab one of these, a traditional silk screen that has been stretched and you could lay your vinyl on top of it and then lay it flat and screen print. But today I am going to be using these reusable silk screens that I got from Amazon. So you can purchase them in different designs and I finally, finally purchased them. And as you can see, it's been used. I did try it out. And here is the result of me trying that out. So this is the first one that I did. I did it in all black. It turned out great. And then this is the second still screen that I got. And this one, I tried it with multiple colors and it turned out really well. So in today's video, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to use the first design and I'm going to do that in multiple colors for you. And I am not going to pick up the silk screen and wash it out, then come back and do another color. I'm going to do all colors in one go with the silk screen. And to help me do that, I am going to use these little cake tools, all right? I'm going to be using these little cake tools and I'm just going to use it to pick up my individual colors and just go across the silk screen. In some areas where I have probably green and yellow, it doesn't matter if at the borders they blend. I actually kind of like that. Also, I'm going to be using um, these uh, screen printing inks. So these are a brand here in Jamaica. This is from Screen Art Supply and Manufacturing Company. So the colors that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using some red. I'm going to be using uh, some yellow, black, and I'm going to be using some green. So the green that I am using, I didn't, at the time they didn't have any green when I was purchasing it. So I just combined the blue and the yellow to give me a green and it turned out to be the perfect green it's sort of a sap green or an emerald it's deeper than an emerald green it's more like a sap green which is closer to the green that is used in our jamaican flag all right so the hummingbird as i've been saying is our national bird and so that's why I'm using this color combination. For screen printing inks for fabric, of course, you will need to heat set them. So I'm going to put the inks down onto the tote bag. Then I'm going to pull away my silk screen and allow it to dry. And I'm going to speed up that process by using my heat gun. So I'm just gonna go over the top to help it to dry. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm going to use my Cricut, my nine by nine to heat set it. 
Now, these inks require you to heat set it at uh, 350 Fahrenheit for three minutes, so 180 seconds. So that's what I'm going to set my heat press to. So I've shared with you everything that I'll be using. Oh, I forgot. I am going to be using some painter's tape. So why I'm going to do that is if you take a look at my design, the beak of the bird and this edge here is um, this end of the wing is very close to the edge. And so I'm going to tape around it just to make sure that when I'm filling it in, I don't get any of this green print ink onto the bag. So it should be um, it should be permanent once you heat set it. But I've used these inks before and while you can wash it out to a certain extent, it will still leave a mark. So I don't want to get any of this on the tote. So I think that's everything that we're going to do. So let's get down to the table and actually get it done. I'm excited. Okay, so let's get started. So I did say before, let's put this all the way. So I did say before that I am using my um my pressing pillow you don't need to use a pressing pillow we just don't want the inch to go through and i wanted a pretty solid surface but i do have these pieces of cardboard so if you have this then this is a great surface to use as well in fact i think i'm just going to set the pressing pillow aside and use this here is my stencil that i'm working with Clearly, it's a lot, um, it is a lot smaller than my bag, but it's long enough so I could choose to um, put it here. So I'm thinking about, okay, where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it off to the side? I could always do something like that. I think that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up my stencil. So this is reusable and it's sticky on this side. So I really like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my design down, making sure it's landing somewhere that I have my cardboard. All right. Okay. So we want to make sure that it is on a hard enough surface and we can smooth it down so that, you know, there aren't any errors listing because we don't want the screen print ink to bleed. So I'm just going to use my scraper tool and kind of flatten that out as much as possible. And when you're done, all you have to do is wash it out, uh, let it dry and stick it right back here on top of this and you're good to go for a new project. So as I said, I'm going to go ahead and use my tape just because I don't want to risk any of my screen print, any of my screen print ink getting onto this tote bag. So I guess we're ready to go. So if we wanted to do one color, as I said, I would just put my screen print in here or here and I would just go across it once or twice and then we would be done. All right. But I'm thinking to use multiple colors here. Um, actually, we could we could go ahead and use the larger squeegee by putting our colors Maybe we could put a couple of different colors here and then pull once and see how that turns out. So that's a possibility. Okay, I'm back. So I think we're sticking to these tools because I do know where one is and I can't reach it right now. And the other one, I have no idea where it is. So I think we're just gonna stick with the tools that we have right here. Actually, I do have this. So that could work okay let's try this tool all right so i'm not going to do it the way i did the first bag i'm just going to go ahead and lay down a couple of colors and see how that works out 
All right, isn't crafting fun? You can change your mind about what you're doing at any time and just have fun with it. I absolutely love that. So my plans have changed a little bit. Um, when I did this one, when I did this one, I used these really small tools so that I could, let me come in closer. I used the really small tools so that I could make sure the black went where it was supposed to go, the red, the green, the yellow, everything went where it was supposed to go. But I'm kind of really toying with the idea of just spreading my inks out and then just dragging them and just seeing wherever they land and see how it works. I mean, hummingbirds have tons of different colors, different designs, they are um, just out there in nature with all kinds of colors. And so let's try something today. All right. So I'm going to go and I'm going to lay down my yellow right here. I feel excited about this. Yes. Let's go a little bit random. Actually, let me move my yellow back over here. I want my red to start there. Yeah. Just put that there. So, wish me luck. All right, nice, nice. Um, let's see, what am I going to do with this? Because I don't want to put it back. I don't want to put it back in that container. One second, let me grab another container and we can make a new screen print ink with, all right? So we're gonna make a new color. That's cool. Art is just beautiful this way. All right, I'm just wiping off my excess. And then we're gonna come through. Uh, let me just make one more path right there. All right, so let's go ahead and just pull through right along here. Fantastic. Okay, if I'm adding this with the black, then I guess everything is gonna turn into black. <laughs> but let's save this. Let's save that. Let's make one pass right here. And let's take off this excess right here. So when I did that, I dragged some of the red, but that's okay. And I can see I am very close to the fabric. So I'm glad that it all stopped right there. And we're finished. That's it. Let's set this aside and make sure we don't have any excess ink on our hands. And let's get rid of, let's release the stencil. So... Let me go ahead and lift up my teeth. Still screen. All right. So make sure our hands are clean. And let's see. Wow. This is definitely, this turned out a lot better than the previous one because I made several passes. I did make several passes um, with these little tools and I think it caused too much ink to go through. So the full design of this bag is really, really coming through. And I do have black, green and gold. And I have red, green and gold, which is our, which is our um, reggae colors. So let me bring this in close for you. And we have this fantastic hummingbird. All right, let me bring that in. 
and I like it. It's very clean. The others, the other one I did had more bleeding because I made multiple passes. This one is very, very nice and clean. That's it, guys. We are practically finished. We just need for it to dry and then we heat set it. So I'm just going to help it along with my heat gun here. Okay, that's it. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to go wash out the sill screen to make sure that we can use it again. Okay, our heat press is ready. So let's go ahead and put down our butcher paper. And we're just going to take our heat press. So the 9x9 nine nine would be sufficient to cover this, yes. And I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, I forgot. Let's pause a moment. I forgot. I completely forgot. So the last time I did this, I had used um, my pressing pillow. But I have cardboard in there this time. So... Let's pull that out. So nothing transferred to my cardboard so I can use this again. And let's put in the pressing pillow. Ah, I caught that one. I caught that one. All right. So let's go again with our pusher paper. And let's set this down. Okay. So that was my heat gun that just fell. All right, everybody, here is my completed tote bag. So let's move this on out the way and let's get a close up. So this is my hummingbird and it looks great. If you like this video, if it helped you in any way at all, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm here every week with a new video. Thanks for sticking with me and I'll see you in the next one.